That one's big. Oh, is that a bass? No! He bit it on the fall. He got it. Oh, when I set the hook, it just didn't even move. You got to be kidding me! It's northern country. It's raining, got my tackle done. Lots of spinning rods. Makes for easy, quick tackle. Boat's lighter, runs faster. I'm pretty much gonna throw a drop shot and a hair jig tomorrow. That's it. Kyle should have plenty of hook sets when he misses the actual hook set that you, you can then use. You can't give away the secrets. You can't do the secret trade. Right? That's my secret. You can use a bird shot. It's day one, Lake St. Clair. We have been blessed with incredible weather. I'm trying to think, I didn't get any coffee this morning, which sucked. Gas station didn't have any. Yeah, so my starting hole this morning wasn't good. I'm hoping my second starting hole is gonna be a little better. Two, one, let's officially get this party started. Three stops remain, all in the north, kicking it off here in beautiful Michigan at the AFCO Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair. You are not the right size, though. But when you got zero in the box, I guess it's worth something. Yeah. That looks like a better one. Maybe. Maybe. Just came off. Got to be kidding me. I don't eat it like they're supposed to. Just swam straight over. He ate it. There's st still a few around here. That one went airborne. That was so pretty. Now if you just stay on, get us moving in the right direction though. In positive direction. Get your head up here. You're not, you're not that big. You need to get bigger. Eh? Ah, just put another three pounder. Three pounders are gonna get us in 80th place. Another little one. I will boat flip you. He was a little bigger than I thought he was. Give us a limit. No shortage of fish catches today. We got a bunch of boats around now. Gosh dang it, why do the big ones come off? Lost two good ones this morning. Get it. Mm, it definitely helped. Not a giant, but no quick wallering around. That was a little better. Right flavor, wrong size. I'll just 
doing it for the gram now, aren't you? I got here. Cat daddy. That's what you are. A cat daddy. Like, like I just knew something wasn't adding up here. Oh, cat daddy. That's a bass. No! Gosh! Ah, oh, it makes me so mad. I've just been having like weird bad luck on, for whatever reason, the bigger bites. I'm gonna go back up where we started. Seemed like there were some better fish around there. shot over to it just took a minute I love you smallmouth I know these ones are way meaner than the bigger ones they have small mouth that'll get me excited okay I'm more excited when you jump way out there okay he should help surely right it's like not quite three and a half pounds between three and a quarter and three and a half not big enough you got it uh, feels good got some weight to it don't you jump come on be a big yeah that'll help stay on there stay on there no 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 it's not as big as i was hoping it was gonna be Nah, but it should help. Should get rid of our last 304. That is, they're just all like clones. Should give us just under 18. That one feels like it's got a little meat to it. Yeah. Oh, hunch back there. Short fat. Going down to look at it again. Quitter. Gosh, that took a while. Oh gosh, see that other one? That other one came and ate my bait. My bait was up on my line and another one came in and grabbed my bait. Like they're great fish, they're just not big enough. Till now, eight pounder. About a clone, aren't you? I only saw one out here. Or I saw two, I caught one. In practice, but there's a few hanging around today. Surely one of these, that one's big. Think, gosh, dang it, why? Why do all the big ones come off today? That thing was, that was a big one. Maybe your girlfriend ate it. Oh, he had it. Gosh, dang, I missed him freaking twice. Third time's a charm. So I got a real good look at him. Oh, should help. Number four, one, and five are all about the same. Right, three and three corner. So when I started catching all those fish out there, I noticed there was they were relating to like this little this little hump, just like a little circle. There's not much really a hump. 
just these little, like one little circle, and it said 14 foot. So I made a depth highlight at 14 foot, and then this little circle popped up right here. So I just trolled over here, didn't see anything between that one and this one, got over here and catch a bass off of it. He might have got it before it hit the bottom. He did. I got the football. He bit it before it even hit the bottom. I don't know, he's quite a four, he's not a four pounder. He's gonna be close. <laughs> it just doesn't get old. Oh, there's another one out there. Oh, there's another one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, did he turn away? I think this is a five, four, three, two, one, zero. Got it. Oh, is that a bass? Gosh, that looks like a bang. No! Why? Frickin' giant one. <sighs> See what this one will bite. I don't, like I just don't get it. I should have a really, really good bag. <clears throat> yeah, he'll help. If this one doesn't look big compared to that other one, that other one was a freak. <laughs> that other one was so much bigger. First official one over four pounds. Let's go. A little over 19. Looks big on the graph. Looks pretty big right there. Not as big as that one, but it looks like it is. Oh. Yep, that's a freaking big one. You've got to be kidding me! That was another five pounder. Right there, touched my hands. And then just, just came off. Like, I don't know how you catch 19 pounds and be. Well, I do know how, but catch 19 pounds and be mad about it. Cut boy with 19. Like I have one that's four pounds and that's it. Five fish here today, 19 pounds, 14 ounces. I've never caught 19 pounds and been so upset in my life before. I mean, there's, there's so many big ones swimming around out there. Um, I mean, we had perfect conditions with the best way to catch them. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. You just got to be able to land the right bites and uh, it can get real interesting in a hurry. It seems that way. <laughs> we should like to see you back here tomorrow. <laughs> just get close the distance and just go. Hmm? You've got to let him eat it. I start scanning around, scanning around, and I see one. Target acquired and you go. And so I was like, I'm just going to set a depth highlight to that. Like, it was 14 foot. Like, I'm going to just set it to 14 foot. I zoomed out, and I was like, there's another one right over there. And I just trolled on high and just looked around. I didn't see anything the whole time. I get to it, and I get on the back side of it. Like, the depth never changes, really, that you can tell. But, but like, I didn't see anything. And I get over there and, like, started seeing just a little bit of grass. Like, the bottom was kind of a little fuzzy. I'm like, boop, there's two catch one that's like just under four pounds and like oh, it's like my second biggest one
should be witnessing this. I gotta win it again. I'm on an energy kick. I gotta maneuver. Godspeed, I let a challenger rally up. I'm on a mission to turn it up. Sharpen the blade, I get it done. Don't get the energy crossed up. Hate on the vision, they lost us. One of the best and they call one. I am really good start. Awesome. Are you ready? Four pounders. One of the pressure, I never complained. Better than anything I weighed yesterday. Nothing where that big group was yesterday. Oh, there's three of them there. Oh, there's a whole school there. Those other ones didn't look little. Seven more pounds to get to 20. I'm on an energy kick. I gotta maneuver. Look, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to feast. You woke up the beast. I'm picking my teeth and heading to sleep. I stay in control. Can never delete. Jump on the space. I shifted the key. If I can escape, I'm ready to leave. Uh, never a pause or break. I lock on your cap. Be ready to freeze. He did it on the fall. At the top of the board, I'm printing the screen. The pressure release. Uh, Could not get these suckers to bite earlier. The easiest thing I achieve is really a breeze. It's really a sneeze. I'm really the truth. <sighs> Yeah, a little more like it. I knew there were big ones here when I saw them this morning. They're around. One bite. Got to be ready on the road. Got it. Yeah. Oh, it can be. There's a decent one though. Pin him up against the side of the building. You can do it. He did it. I don't know if it'll help. Need one five pound bite to make the cut. Be a big Oh, it, it, it's a pretty decent one. Help, but it's not as big as I was hoping. Those look like big, big ones. I don't know what to do. There's one on the trolling motor it's floating with this. I think I got a little one. This one came out of nowhere. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's just pulling that much water. Oh, I just had one tracking it. Dang it. That's gotta be a big one. It is. Stay on there. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. Please stay on there. This could be a 10 grand. Yes! Yes! Look at that thing. Long and lean. Oh, had to have been the one I marked. My scale says 18, a little over 18. Good upgrade. Whew! I was nervous wreck. Get it. Get it. Oh, I think my fly might be going too fast. Might need a shallower, a lighter one or something. What's crazy is these ones, like, 
normally you get shallow ones like this, you can pitch back on them and catch them. I hope we make tomorrow. I'd like to come back here, but I think it's gonna be a little bit bumpier tomorrow. I may make a pass back through it, but I doubt they're, I doubt they're set back up. Biggin. Oh. He bit it, he bit it. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh, he should have. And in here. Woof. Should help. I don't know. Is this bubble boy status? The key change there was going to that, going to the lighter hair jig. It just hovers in their face. That one I had on at first was just too heavy. For those ones that track it. Go to where we caught the bigs yesterday. Hopefully, some showed up. Got it. <laughs> Got some meat to it. Yeah, that'll cool. Oh, that's a big one. We're doing this, we're going. Skinny though. That one's a lot healthier, but it's not as big of a thing. Just starting to bite. You. 19 pounds, 14 ounces yesterday, five fish here today. 19 pounds, seven ounces with 39 pounds, five ounces. Hopefully I get a fish tomorrow. I feel like I'm gonna be bubble boy, which is crazy when you have almost 40 pounds. Uh, but that's how good this place is fishing right now. Weather's gonna change tomorrow. Hopefully we can make some adjustments and uh, actually get a fish tomorrow. The purse tags are really cool because they've got, um, they're called predator tags. So they've got a membrane on them that when another fish eats that perch, the stomach acids dissolve that membrane and then the tag switches signals. So you can see where it got eaten and you know, like, oh. what, what. At home they did a couple GPS ones. They were like a yeah. wire like yeah. this long they did on largemouth. And my buddy caught one and he said, and he called it in and they said two days earlier it was 25 miles downriver. Wow. In so two days. Uh, so the Michigan DNR is doing a tracking program and it, they're taking some of our fish, inserting a little uh, like transmitter essentially and it pings off of these little deals that they put in the water. So they put these, this, this goes in the fish right here and then these are placed all over the lake, sends out a signal, this picks it up, and then they know how those fish are migrating around. Oh gosh, we're gonna be so close, aren't we? Spinach, mushroom, if you want them, chicken, if you want it, ramen bowls. It doesn't look as good because I've eaten half of mine. It's like a half eaten. Yeah, you know, Tiff's I'm Tiff's not given enough credit. She's she's like a master in the the kitchen with the ramen. And it looks really good. He hasn't tried it yet. But it looks good. So it looks really like, good. Sick in his no, I thought I was gonna get sick on the pizza last night. But this stuff, this is the goods. I'm excited about this. Tiff's she's been to Japan, so she's she knows like yeah, good ramen from good ramen. ramen. It's close though. It's better than top ramen, and that's my kind of ramen. Uh, lightning bolt hit that telephone pole right there. I guess it's not a telephone pole. 
electrical pole, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the technical term for it. Literally struck that pole right at the entrance of the campground. Right there. Not very far. And now we don't have power, so we're running the generator in the RV so that we have power, so we can charge the boat, so that we have air conditioning, and a sleep machine for Cora to go to bed. We're just living off grid. We forget any one important part. And we made the cut, so we're gonna go get cut ice cream. Exactly. Cream up. Oh no, you're dirt and worms. Oh, dirt and worms it is. I have to. I have to. That's it. I'm my decision. I, mean, I thought made. for sure you were getting the nut buster. Hey, we know this guy. It's even a new photo. He looks very suspicious. I'm at time to install it. I got my boat back three days before Kyle texted me saying so you don't need somebody. I'll bring your coffee. Nux. Thumbs up, swirly top. Official folks, I have the day three sleepies. Brennan, not bad. Not bad. No. Maybe because I got woke up before my alarm clock by a kid. It's day three. Uh, we got a little weather this morning, a little rain, a little thunder, but it is day three and we're fishing. It's going to be a little windier today, huh? a little bit more windy, a little bumpier. We don't really have anything to lose, you know, we can't, we only dropped six places, so really we only have room to go up. This was a hard one to survive, Carl said that yesterday. It was a good way to put it. Like catching nearly 20 pounds a day it was like just surviving this one. It's crazy. Wild and I feel like ours was really ugly survival. <laughs> like somehow we made it in, but didn't necessarily deserve to make it in. Did you get the graph one on the back wall too? In the back corner. A mile and a half out the engine again. Like I started back up, got on pad. I stuck out in the water, but I got some magazines to sign it. Yeah, for sure. Get framed and stuck in my garage. So. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Good luck. Let's capture some bass. They got it. No. Hey! Just doing it for Kyle, aren't you? Just sitting. Bill dancing. 
Except my hat needs to be about right here. Bill dance. Big ones out, out yonder. I don't have those. It's a big one too, I think. I have a giant, but decent one. A little better. I thought there's no way one of those isn't gonna bite that. They, like all of them have crawfish in their mouths. They're all eating craws. This little section right here, like those re that really big one I lost day one was only about 100 feet that, no, about 200 feet that way. Kind of this little football field section right here has had quite a few good fish in it. one like another three and a half pounder got a limit didn't want to screw up the streak of everybody having a limit oh no oh. I don't even know what to do here Wrapped up in the raptors or the motor? Broke off. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I think he was wrapped up in the motor, not, not the raptor. Damn, I felt like a decent fish too. And somehow made a cut and got paid even with just ridiculous stuff non-stop we got it that'll cool that'll get rid of that little pound and a half or whatever is in there I'm just literally just drifting and just scanning and drifting like I've never made a pass through here. But it's like the best thing to do. We're going like a mile to a mile and a half an hour. Oh, that's a big one. Close. Oh, you got a lamprey on you? Not everything, don't you? Ew. Ew. That lamprey been eating all your food? You're too skinny. Big. All right, back to drifting. F off, wind. Go look at a place that I haven't been to yet this week. Some old waypoints that I've got. We'll roll through there and see what it like. Might as well. Got nothing to lose. We already got our below average 17 pounds. Man, I'm seeing some good ones, but I'm striking out. Should I help? Just 
getting around the right ones and then getting around ones that haven't been beat on it seems like you can tell the difference between ones that have like been fished and pressured versus when you get on ones that are kind of fresh haven't been beat on in the last couple of days like they tend to bite it right away a lot easier Right here, it should help. Down. Yes! That'll definitely help, that's a four pounder probably. It's definitely the base one of the day. Gosh, they're freaking like clones. Ooh, that water. Yeah, they probably go in here and they're like, oh. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. That bad. What was that when uh <laughs> oh, it's gonna be rough? Twenty-four pounders? Yes. Still don't got 20. <laughs> 39 pounds and 5 ounces. 17 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 40 seconds. They're even lighter than I thought. Pounds and an ounce. Bringing in the Bendy Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. No, it's uh, pretty amazing that I actually <laughs> made the top 50 cut. It was just, it was one of those weeks where. I did everything right, made all the right decisions, and then everything went wrong. And I couldn't make sense of it. it. You start second guessing, like, oh, do I need to change this or this? And then I start thinking, I'm like, I have won hundreds of thousands of dollars on this exact setup that's in my hand. Don't change anything. And like, sometimes that just happens. The good news is, we have two more events that I can go catch 20 pounds. St. Lawrence River, I'm probably gonna need 25 every day. Uh, but, I mean, it's incredible. Like, I wish I was going out there tomorrow just because it is so much fun. There's so many fish to catch in this lake. Incredible fishery, incredible angler. We look forward to seeing you lakes next. Yeah, it's not over. I mean, we're gonna be here tomorrow. I'm gonna shoot some photos of some giant smallmouth. Um, and we're not having ice cream tonight. Cooper was all worried about saying he was gonna be in like 10th or 11th. He's in third right now. There's only two guys to weigh in. The worst he can be is fifth. Rookies. What's on? Can you give me five? Nice. Making chocolate waffles. Little chef stand right here. Oh, oh, oh. Kyle made waffles because it's the one thing he knows. Well, one of three things he knows how to make. And it's Sunday. Sunday is waffle day when we don't make a cut. They're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. You thought they were going to be bad? Well, they're chocolate. They're like double chocolate. They're chocolate, chocolate chip. Yeah, it's a Vandy Hammer breakfast. That's a special. Mmm. 7.7. .7. It's day number four. Obviously, we're not fishing. We made the day three cut, not the day four cut. Uh, we didn't eat lunch. I was working on boat stuff, um, adding some stuff for the next event, just a little maintenance. Afco Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair. It is Championship Black Sunday. Are you ready? No, 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 no. Are you ready?
if one of these guys win, they take Taku's chair. No, so this is the Taku chair, so no, no Joe's chair, right? Joey Cifuentes, a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Well, that is a wrap for Lake St. Clair. Joey wins again. Cifuentes wins again to this season. Uh, seminal. I'm glad that I didn't finish like 90th here and he won again because that would be a really bad like coincidence that I finished in the 90s and he won so I'm glad that I made a cut this time when he won because I, I, I don't know I would have had to like slash his tires or something at the <laughs> next two events so that make sure he didn't win uh, all joking aside um, side note I just sat on the stage Joey's back there doing interviews and we're gonna take a photo uh, and when I hopped up here I had this weird uh, like moment of gratitude I guess I just like I hopped up here and I was like man this stage is pretty dang cool and sometimes we take it for granted you know this is my 13th season and you, you take this stage for granted you take you know the the crowd for granted sometimes and, and even just the fishing right we had an okay finish but a poor finish in smallmouth country for what I consider uh, I always expect top tens in smallmouth country so uh, you, you take that for granted sometimes though and right now I just feel <laughs> thankful and grateful that uh, we're able to walk across this stage get to do this uh, and grateful for all of you guys that watch so thank you uh, the videos would not be nearly as fun to make if nobody watched them <laughs> and Kyle probably wouldn't have a job. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a scary place I mean, to think where I'd be at. Yeah, who knows where Kyle would be. He'd probably be like stuck in Chiang Mai, Thailand or something in Bangkok. Good. Tell everybody uh, they, can, they can get the stuff. And yeah, we don't, I, you know, I'm a little torn on tourney tea this week. It's going to be have to be a team decision on what tourney tea is going to be, but you can get it right here. And you can subscribe. And you can watch more videos. You can like. You can comment. Merch helps keep me out of Chiang Mai or Bangkok, Thailand also. Merch helps keep Kyle out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Yeti hot seat. You're leading. You're leading. You're leading. Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad for teaching me how to catch all the fish. His number one rule, do everything opposite of Andy Ammer. <laughs>